Hola y buenos días. Hello and good morning. I am here in Madrid in España. You're watching Iron Will Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. So once again this week my training has taken a bit of a hit. It seems to be a bit of a common thing now. Uh, this week it was part in due to laziness but also in part due to Achilles pain again. It's come back a little bit sore. I am getting a little bit concerned because I haven't actually been able to do a long run in just before I left. So that's about a week and a half ago, nearly two weeks ago was the last time I did a long run. And I really need to get some long runs in if I'm going to be able to do this marathon. So for the last week I've been in Offenburg in uh, Germany, which is on the border of France and Germany. So last weekend we did a trip over to Strasbourg, did a lot of walking. Uh, there were a lot of cobblestones. Uh, and then on the Sunday did a trip up to the Black Forest. Uh, so we started off in Gengenbach, which is near Offenburg. Walked up to the Black Forest, had a little walk through there, found this nice little chapel and then walked back home. Because I was doing a lot of walking, after that, especially for the cobblestones and all that, I found my Achilles was really quite sore. And I'd kind of forgotten to do any of my stretching and foam rolling, so that's my bad. It just goes to show, never skimp on the exercises that are given to you by a specialist, especially if it's a podiatrist or physiotherapist. Always do those exercises as often as they say to do them. So this week I am in Madrid, in España, and it is awesome over here, although it is bloody hot. It's like 40 degrees every day Celsius. Yesterday I did a quick uh, wander. I went out the hostel, which I'm staying in, didn't look at my mobile, just went wherever the roads took me. Ended up in Plaza Mayor and Puerto del Sol. After that, I ended up at Mercado del San Miguel, I think it is. Uh, which is this food market. Really great food. They've got beer, they've got sangria, they've got everything there. I think that's gonna be one of my favorite places to visit this week for lunch. So I'll be going there a few more times. Then I ended up finding myself at the Temple de Debod, which is like this old Egyptian temple and kind of ruins, but really nice spot. And it overlooks the Casa del Campo, which is this ginormous park, which I'm hoping to get a good long 28, maybe 30 kilometer run in this week, maybe 25, we'll see. One recommendation for if you're gonna do minimalist type shoe running or if you have Achilles problems is to try and walk in minimal shoes as often as you can. So I've got my Kung Fu slippers, which I'm gonna be using for the marathon in a month and a half. And I've been trying to walk around in those as often as I can to help long-term strengthen my Achilles. So this morning I went for a walk down the El Rastro markets, bought some gifts for friends and family, then went for another walk over to the Mercado del San Miguel and had my lunch and lunch beer there as well. And the hostel I'm staying at, they do a whole bunch of different activities. So as I mentioned, there's the flamenco show, which I may join tonight. Um, last night I joined the tapas experience, so you go to two tapas bars and the first place you get a beer and a tapas um, and the second place you get more sangria, I tried last night, and more tapas. And I found out the origins of tapas, so tapas actually translates closely to top and it was used to top your beer back when they wanted to stop flies and that sort of stuff getting into your beer. So the bread was used to top off your beer and then you just put stuff on the bread and eat it once you finish your beer. Also this week I want to get over to Toledo if I can. I've been highly, highly recommended that place so I'm going to make that a priority to try and get over to Toledo. So all of these places, probably in next week's vlog, you'll get a little quick squeeze at each of the different places I went to, all of the different things I did across my week in Madrid. And now here going for a walk around the Casa del Campo, which the Casa del Campo, by the way, was a royal hunting ground back yonks ago. And they changed it into a big public park where you can just walk around. It's, uh, I don't know the exact size of it, but apparently it's multiple times bigger than Central Park in New York. So it's pretty ginormous. All right, stairs or ramp? Stairs or ramp? I'm gonna go ramp. Apparently the main part of Costa del Campo is the lake, which is where I'm going to have a look at right now before I head back home and then possibly come for a run out here later on today. And I'm planning on coming out for a run out here tomorrow morning 
ideally before it gets too warm because it's bloody hot. Definitely seems like Casa del Campo is the place where people in Madrid who want to exercise go to exercise. It's huge. <laughs> There's plenty of places to bike, there's plenty of places to run. If you want swim, bike, run content every week from, well, this week here in España and going forward normally in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.